When I woke up this morning, the last thing I thought I was going to see was a Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is coming to Nintendo Switch. It is getting an HD remaster by Square. It also is going to PlayStation 4, officially making it multi-platform for the first time ever. And I am pumped because the OG Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on GameCube is among one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. Now, I know some people had some annoyances uh, with having to carry the bucket. You know, there's the whole be in the pot, you know what. Uh, and <laughs> having to use all of the various uh, Game Boy Advance at the time um, accessories, you had to have Game Boy Advance units and, and link cables uh, in order to even play this officially multiplayer. But uh, that's obviously going to be different with Nintendo Switch, maybe because of split Joy-Cons, maybe because of whatever. I mean, it's got PlayStation 2, so multiple controllers. I think that this is one of the best games to come over because it's one of the most underappreciated games of the GameCube era and one that could best use a second life now this isn't the only final fantasy crystal chronicles game there was another one that came out on wii the thing is the one that came out on wii is so far removed from what this game is that it's almost embarrassing to consider them to be the same thing the other one is a far more traditional final fantasy experience than crystal chronicles unique take and yes it uses chibi art but it's always used chibi art it's not just a thing that's like oh a Signed from it being a cell phone game. No, this is what the art style was for the game. So it's true to form. It makes a lot of sense to make an HD remaster of. And I, I mean, we'll probably end up talking about this on the Nintendo Prime podcast. Because Eric and I spent several hundreds of hours playing this game on GameCube. We even got some of our other friends involved. I, I think the max players we ever played were three. Maybe we had four for, for one play session. But... Oh man, this game is fun. I have so many fond memories. And I, for those of you that don't know what this game is and don't know, well, you're seeing footage of it now, and it might not look necessarily the most appealing in the world. This is in development progress, uh, not full English voice acting, all this stuff, and, but I, I don't care. This game looks fantastic, and I know this is one of the quickest videos I've put out in a while, but I am in the middle of remodeling uh, a studio. Yes, I'm going to have a proper studio set up, uh, not stuck in a small little cramped room. The old uh, office is going to become a green screen room, which is going to make a lot of uh, green screen uses uh, much easier. Um, I have uh, two other sets that are going to be set up here. Uh, I also technically have a third set that's more for live streaming, but occasionally, you know, there could be a sit down and have a conversation on the couch kind of kind of thing with you guys. Um, but I, I've been putting a lot of work, time, effort, and work into it. It's not close to being done yet. Uh, one of the sets is almost done. It needs uh, some lighting and some other things that I just can't afford right now. Uh, so I don't know when that stuff's going to go in use because my testing with it shows I don't have good enough lighting right now to, to use it. That That's the one problem when you're setting up a new studio is that you kind of need the right lighting to make it all work. And I don't have it. The, the right lighting situation for me is going to be about $220-ish. Uh, we're we're going to be installing some ceiling-mounted um, you know, lights, some special ones, and uh, that I can also turn. And one of them will be able to be used with my other set. Uh, I'll need a third one eventually, but I think the, the second set's going to be much more user-friendly for me because uh, there's, there's less things that need to be lit up, but uh, this is uh, for our practical effect kind of stage. Uh, so yeah, I just don't have the money. <laughs> um, literally, I've, I'm already probably six or $700 deep into the studio remodel, which might not sound like a lot for some people uh, for a studio, but it's the best I can do, and I did a lot of work myself, a lot of uh, custom building out of things. So, yeah, you guys, uh, let me know uh, what you think about this news. And uh, if for some reason you happen to want to help out with the studio, help us get the lights in here that we need. That's the, that's the next big push is the lighting that we need to get to really use these sets properly. Uh, I'll drop a, a donation link down in the description uh, for you to uh, donate to if you would like. Just help out with the studio remodel. Uh, after we're done with the remodel of the studio, the next goal is to build um, a new computer for editing purposes and also for storage purposes because right now uh, we are pushing, uh, we're, we're well past the storage. I'm, I'm, I'm deleting video files every day just so I can do more videos. Uh, not good. <laughs> you never want to be in that situation. All right, folks, that's all I got to say on this. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles coming to Nintendo Switch and coming to PlayStation 4 HD remaster. We have no no tentative release date. It's probably sometime in 2019, but I am thrilled. Uh, some people might be sick of ports, but we're talking GameCube remaster.
Let's go. I'll remaster that whole library and bring it over, man. I, I can't wait. All right, folks. I'll catch you guys in the next one.